Let's think about now about FIR filter implementations. Yeah, so how do we actually turn something like this? So where we've got these delay steps here and we're multiplying this by a factor. Y of n, x of n. So how can we implement this, for example, in C? How to implement this in software? So I will give you two examples. First one which is more intuitive and the other one which is faster. So the first is the slow implementation. So the slow one. Let's just imagine we have just a couple of memory places here, just an array. So that's our our array which acts as a delay line. So then we do it in two steps. So the first step is we just shift everything by one time step to make space here for a new sample. Yeah, so, so what we do is we just copy this in here, this in here, this in here and so on. So we're copying all these elements over and doing this until we are arriving at the first one to make some space here. Then as a as a second step here, if we have these divisions here, we just add our new value here. Add new sample. And then in a, as a third step here, what we do is we just take this array here so that's our our delay line. And then we just multiply this element wise with our impulse response, with our coefficients. So we just multiply this here. Multiply element wise and this is here our impulse response so we multiply this with each other and then sum it up and we've got our result our sum which we return Okay, so that's roughly the hand-waving way of explaining this. So let's now do it in a proper C function. So float filter float value. So that's our starting point and we see already so there's one sample returned and there's one sample sent in. Yeah, so this means as causal signal processing we don't know what the next sample is. We just feed one in because we get that and then it's the next time we're getting another one and sending this out. Okay, so the first step is obviously then we need to 
shift the delay line. Yeah, so let's do this. It's just a simple for loop. For int equals i n tabs minus 1 to i greater than, as long as i is greater than 0, and then we just count i downwards here. Curly brackets are actually not needed, just have them here for the aesthetics. So what we do is we've got our buffer of i, and this is getting the value from the previous place buffer of i minus 1. So essentially we're just moving everything one up in the delay buffer. That's what we want to do here. So here we just move data 1 sample up. So once we have done this, then we've got space in buffer of 0, and there we put our new value in it. Yeah, so that's our value here. This goes into into here, into our buffer, into our first delay step here. So once we've done this, we just need to calculate our weighted sum. So, so we do for int i 0. Now we can do it upwards. So i is smaller than n tabs. So is our number of tabs. i++. Plus plus. And then just creating our output by using the buffer and multiplying this by our h of i, which is our impulse response. In impulse response. So once we have done this, we just do a return output and with that our filter function has been implemented.